Don't tell the wife, but I got a brand new RC car. So, who thought the monster truck was the brand new car? <laughs> I've had that for a while. That's the X Max. So, this is the Latrax. This is kind of, I guess, the budget line of Traxxas, which is the one that makes three of the cars that I have. Uh, so, this is a 118th scale uh, all wheel drive rally car. Um, here's some of the specs if you want to pause and look at it. I'm not going to go through uh, too much of it. I'm going to spare you the unboxing because I'm not an RC car channel. I'm not doing these uh, preview videos. And actually this thing here has been out for a long time. I've seen videos going back 8 or 10 years of people uh, <laughs> unboxing and doing reviews of these things. So this car is nothing new. It has made a few changes like the battery connector and maybe something else. But there have been a few changes. Now, I will show you this. See this? This is where the differential is. See these white things? This is plastic, and I am going to upgrade that. Um, I do have right here a bearing kit that we're going to be putting into the car today. Because I just don't like the idea of the gearbox, the drive shaft, the wheels, everything spinning on plastic nylon and one thing you can have happen is this nylon gets too hot you'll never get off and then you'll end up having to replace a whole bunch of pieces so before I drive this car anymore um, we're just gonna go ahead and do that so so there you are. that's the look at the box now this is what they call ready to run RTR he's ready to run and unlike other Traxxas cars that I have this one here is truly ready to run. Um, all Traxxas cars I've had, they all come with a remote. This one is unique. Um, one of the cool things with these digital remotes is that you can bind multiple cars to one remote. And I tr actually tried to bind this to the one remote I used. And then the steering was backwards. And if this was a better, more high quality controller, there would be a, any of them, there would be a way to reverse that servo, but there isn't. So you get your controller they even give you four AA batteries which as expensive as an X Max and everything else is um, you don't get any batteries none uh, it comes with a wall charger as well for you to charge the battery I don't use this because I have the larger smart charger which can charge the uh, little battery in here way faster than what uh, this thing can so therefore that just kind of sits here now unlike most of the other tracks that have a clipless system this still uses body clips which is a bit of a pain in, in the rear uh, and this, these mounts are so flimsy see it, sometimes it makes it hard getting the uh, the body on the car and then here, unlike my other Traxxas cars, like I mentioned, this one actually comes with a battery. Very small, little nickel metal hydride battery. Um, they do have, you can fit a two cell lithium LiPo battery in here, which will should make the car a little faster and run longer, but, you know, I, I'm not going to, I'm not really going to put any money into this thing. I bought this one because it was a Black Friday sale, so it was marked down. It was a pretty good discount. And then two, with winter coming, I thought maybe it'd be nice to have something I could use inside the house. You know, the X-Max, the Sledge, uh, any of the stuff I have, even the, the Arma stuff, it's just too large to run in the house. 
but this thing's you know a tiny like, tiny little brushed motor um, and it does fine in a small environment like the house so yeah uh, you know and so far I've used it around the house and that uh, and it's it's fun um, I did run this in the driveway it does good but it's uh, very low if you look at how much room there is between like where the tire and the chassis is there's not a lot of ground clearance so basically like the screw sticking down here so basically you have about from the rim to there is all your ground clearance there's just, just not a lot of room here so this isn't an outside car I wouldn't buy this and, and hope to run it through your backyard or even down the street unless you have a really really smooth street because even sometimes in the driveway, if it hits a rock or a little pebble or something like that, it, uh, it'll get stuck. But it's a great indoor car. It's great if you want to run in your garage or if you have a patio or something, something that's paved. Um, so it does have a suspension. They're not really fancy oil-filled. No. You can. They do sell upgraded oil-filled shocks if you want to. They also... Um, I've seen people change out the receiver, the ESC, and the motor go with a brushless system and make this thing way faster. So, you know, maybe if you're looking for something to race on a track and you want to make this thing faster, you can do the shocks, you can do the ESC, the motor, uh, they even sell like a carbon fiber chassis, which that kit alone is like more money than what this whole car costs. So, to me, I wouldn't do it, but, you know, I... I got it just to be an indoor fun car, you know, it was, it was cheap, um, and the nice thing is with it being Traxxas is if anything breaks, you can break the chassis, the servo, the shocks, the wheels, anything breaks or just wears out, you can buy these parts, I mean, you can even buy different bodies if you don't like this color, or, you know, you, you, know, you can change, change that body, you know, if you break one of these mounts. Or say if the battery goes bad, the remote, anything goes bad, you can just replace it. So pretty cool. Um, oh, there is a door here that goes on here to hold the battery. I just kind of found it's such a hassle to put the body on. So I found that I can actually just reach in here and pull the battery in and out. And I'm, I'm only in the house. So I basically just pull the battery in and out. And then I reach in here, hit the button on the uh, ESC to turn it on. And then I never have to worry about pulling the pins and um, <laughs> doing that. So let's go ahead and um, put the bearings in. There it is. What a pain. I mean, you literally have to take the whole car apart, pretty much, to get everything in here. Because all the electronics are here on top, above where the uh, drive shaft is. Then you have to open up both differentials at the same time to get the drive shaft out. But I'll tell you what, it feels a lot better rolling it. And I tried to pause it in the uh, video, which. Uh, the time lapse, I'm not sure how good that's going to come out, but these axles that are here at the wheels, there was white chalky stuff all over. I mean, I mean, look, it's just a piece of plastic. And you saw, I mean, okay, so this thing isn't like super fast like a lot of them. But, you know, and you know, they do it to keep costs down, and if you really want the bearings, then, you know, you just buy them. So, uh... I know I forgot to put this blue thing. I got all done. I'm like looking for all these little screws and I had this big huge blue piece of plastic that kind of blended in with the uh, stand. So I had to take the shocks back off and then put this brace back in there. So I'm pretty sure it keeps the chassis stiff right here where the suspension that is. Oh, let's see.
Well, apparently everything works. Man, look how far off these wheels are. And there's no adjustment. They do it to make it rigid. You can buy a, a kit to make this thing turn, but... Oh, well. have it the La Trax rally car um, I really like it I think it's it's a fun car if uh, you know you're new to RC it's a, it's a very affordable way to get into it especially if you can catch it on like a sale uh, you know if, and if you have kids this is really cool because you know when I was a kid we had those like Radio Shack RC cars and you know if you crashed it and broke that was it. Game over. Wah, wah. This, you know, you can um, you can get the parts, and you know, probably on sale they're like a hundred bucks. So if you can, if you compare to like um, what you're gonna get at Walmart or something for the same price, I think this is far superior. This is just a way better deal. Sorry, I had to go catch the mailman, so I lost uh, track of where I was, but um, I could definitely highly recommend this car. I mean, like I said, I, I remember mentioning, like, for the price of what you get at some of the Walmart cars, which I haven't priced them out recently, but I would, even if it's twice the money, if a Walmart car is 50 and this thing's like 100, maybe even 110 if it's not on sale or something like that, I would go this route, like I said, because you can replace anything anything you want if the battery goes bad or maybe you want another battery because it doesn't last long enough you can easily add the battery the steering servo goes out um, that you can get it I mean and there's upgrades so if you know you go into racing and you want to take it serious you can get oil fill shocks you can change out that you can change out the ESC in the motor make this thing go faster you can change out the gear, so even if you strip out the gears, you can change it, or you can change out the gears to make this go faster. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of tires. Um, they even sell metal uh, shafts, drive shafts for this thing. So, you know, it's and they also sell adjustable ar ar arms that have different adjustments built into them. So if you are racing and you need different adjustments, but very durable. I mean, look at how much foam is in the front of this thing, and I've already <laughs> crashed it a lot into the house. Then even here, if you look like where the body is, in, in comparison to everything, so there's a lot of give here. And I guess that's a good thing with the body, with the body mounts having so much give, so when you hit stuff, it doesn't break. So pretty durable. Plenty of replacements. Um, they do sell us in other colors. They had a they do have a blue one, but the place that I bought it from didn't have blue. I didn't realize that the Traxxas Direct had the blue one. But, hey, you know, oh well. It's a pretty cool car. I, I, I like it, man. I'm happy with it. I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. We got all-wheel drive. Like our friend Mary's uh, Subaru. She's got, the, uh, she's got the Rally Subaru. I'll tell you what, man. That Subaru, she took me up to uh, on the Appalachian Trail, and that was a hellacious dirt road. I mean, that thing's bad. That, that car soaked it up nicely, man. I'm liking the Subaru. I almost bought a WRX when I was uh, in flight school. I had a Grand Am GT and my lease was up. So I was looking at a car and I was going to get the WRX. It was a pretty blue with the big wing. I went back home to Tampa and test drove one. But then I started thinking about it because Subaru is like a smaller car company. And I didn't know where I would be stationed or where I would go. And I was kind of afraid that if it needed work... Where would I take it to where General Motors? So then I got the uh, Vibe, the Pontiac Vibe GT, which is basically based on the, uh, it had, it had like the Toyota Celica GT engine. I don't know, damn thing, late thousand RPM, but it was a freaking wicked little car. This kind of looks like the Vibe. Dee -dee -dee -dee. But, uh, yeah, the Lud Trucks. <laughs> 
So this thing's been around a long time. I've, I've seen videos like that going back eight, ten years. So it's been around. It's pretty proven design. And if you have Traxxas cars, you can use your smart charger with this battery. So there you guys have it, man. I like it. And this is the only upgrade I have planned. Unless that motor blows up, and even if it did, I'd probably just stick with the brushed motor because I'm not going to buy a lipo. You know, maybe if that battery, because then you have to change the setting on either the ESC or change the ESC for lipo versus nickel metal hydrate. But that's too much technical jargon, sorry. But yeah, this is cool. It's completely ready to run. Charger, car battery, remote batteries, remote. Pretty cool, man. I like this thing. I'm going to have me some fun. Chase the cats. All right, with that, thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll... See you on the next one.